Hi guys, Shane back with you from Guitar at Work. Uh, here's Stevie Ray Vaughan's Life by the Drop. Um, some neat stuff on this. If uh, there's a lead uh, intro, that's pretty nasty, but uh, I think if you take your time at it, you'll get through it for sure. We'll, we'll tear that apart slowly. Uh, he's playing a 12 string on this. I'm playing a 6 string, and uh, it can be done on a 6 as well. Sounds a bit fuller on the 12 for sure. Uh, but rest assured, we're fine on the six string. Uh, no capo on this one, as you can see. It's starting right out, uh, you see your tab, you've got your sheets with you, hopefully. And it's starting out with that really uh, quick little intro. I've drawn some imaginary bar lines. They're not actual bar lines, they're just kind of, uh, what we call them, complete thoughts that should help to break up that tab a little bit. Um, and now, a word of warning here, um, this, this tab, the magazine tab, it's absolutely perfect. And every single note that he's playing or not playing is notated, and that's how it should be. But you can get really bogged down in the tab. So let's learn how to navigate tab, take the bare bones version of it, and we can chase any flourishes later on that might leap right out at you. But keep in mind, it's, it's a pretty straight shuffle kind of song, like that, we'll go through all that. And uh, it's a pretty straight shuffle, but he's got all, it's Steve Ray Vaughan, he's got all these uh, little moves that he does in there. So we'll chase flourishes as they come about, but uh, for now, let's just treat it bare bones so we don't get too bogged down. The intro, this guy right here, it starts out with uh, a hammer, zero to three, meaning zero, open A, and then your third finger hammers on the third fret of the A string. And there you go. If you're if that's the first time you tried hammering, oh, you gotta get on there pretty sure-footedly there. There we go. Zero three. Get on there, hit it pretty hard. Good. And now open D. And then a hammer from one to two. First fret, second fret on the D string. So let's back that up. What do we have so far? I've got open A, hammer to three. Zero, open D, and then first, second fret on the D string, that's hammered, and then open G. Good. That's your first sort of imaginary bar that I've drawn in there on your sheet. So zero, three, open D, and then one and two on the D string, and open G. So without hesitation. Good. There you go. Now, the second uh, imaginary bar, as I'll call it, is this guy here, a little hammer pull thing. So I'm going to pick the open D string, hammer uh, the first fret of the D string, and then pull off. You got to kind of pull off, you got to flick it down toward the floor. Like that's a quickie. There you go. So that again is. And it, it ends on the third fret there of the A string. So it's going. Okay, there. And then it's open D again, and then back to that third fret on the A string. Yikes, so that second bar, the second imaginary bar is... And again. And if we back that up and play it right from the top, so slowly we're going... have to stop tape right there. Just get that going on. And uh, your third bar, you see a little zero to two hammer. And that tiny little zero is trying to tell you there's no real rhythmic value to that. It's just quick. There you go. A zero to two on the G string. Open G, going to the second fret of the D string, to the first fret. And here's that little hammer pull move again. All right, so here's your third imaginary bar again. Second fret, first fret with a little hammery pull thing again. And one last time, third bar. There we go. And so from the very top again, let's add a bar each time, very top. Second bar. Third bar. Right, and now the last uh, last bar on that line is open D, then to the third fret, open D again, open A. Good, and I'm going to end it with my first finger. I'm going to bar that guy down. You'll see why in a second. I'm going to bar the top four strings to pick up the. I just need the two here on the G string, but I'm going to bar him because we're going to be going into a shuffle, and that that'll prepare your fingering for that. Um, that's a whole lot. Let me do it again slowly, right from the very top, right from the top again. Here it comes. Good close up of that. Three, four, and. Bar. And bar that first finger right there at the very end. And it's quick, it's lightning fast, actually. And he's in, boom, boom. Now, 
Now, recent, we, but now, it'll take time to get that quickly, obviously, but uh, just do your best, go at it, mindless repetition. Um, now, you could even skip that intro if you just want a campfire version of this. He launches in. The reason we ended it with that little bar, uh, that semi bar here on the second fret, is that we're in position now to get an A shuffle going. So in the second line, you're seeing A5, A6. Now, that's a, a way of, of expressing the fact that he's doing a shuffle rhythm, which sounds like that. So I'm on the second fret here of the D string, and I'm kind of semi-barred there. And I'm going to play the open A and the D string together. So you get like that. I'm going to do that twice. Two of those again. The third finger is going to go to the fourth fret of the D string. Two of those. And I'm still playing the A string and the D string. Like that. Kind of counterintuitive that you've got a finger there and you're asked to play a string lower as well. So watch out for that. If I get that going slowly, here's your second fret. And then to the fourth fret with your third finger. And back it goes. Good. Now if we get all, let's, let's examine all of our shuffles, the ones we're going to need for this particular song. That's called a shuffle rhythm. And that's your A. And I'm getting that muted effect by just resting my right hand slightly here on the, on the strings, just to dull it a little bit so it's not wide open. So you get, that's your A. Now, it goes to an E, which is just one string thicker. Just bring your first finger one over, one string thicker. You're now on the A string here at the second fret. And we've got, same thing exactly. There we go, exactly the same move there. So you're only playing two strings here with your, with your right hand. go. Now he goes to an F sharp, an F sharp minor. He's not shuffling at that point. He's just going to an F sharp minor bar chord like that and strumming like a one, two, three, four. Okay, so that would be again F sharp minor. One and two and three and four. And you can see that barred at the second fret. Ring fingers on the fourth fret of the A string and pinkies on the fourth fret of the D string. Uh, I put my middle finger on just to give me a little extra squish power there. And uh, the only other thing we're going to need now is a D shuffle right there. Now that is one string thinner than your A shuffle was. Hope that helps. So I am now on the second fret of the G string with my first finger. And I'm going to play with my right hand, the D string and the G string. So there's two strings going on. Open D and the G string itself. So you get that thicker sound. We're getting one. And ring finger is going over just like he did on the other ones. Second fret to the fourth fret. Second fret and fret again. Good. So that almost gives us a verse right there. So we're through the intro, as, as nasty as that was. Uh, here's his, um, his verse section. He's going A, E, shuffle, F sharp minor, just strumming. One, two, three. Now to D shuffle right here. One, and two, and three. Back to an A, shuffle. One, and two, and three. Here's your E shuffle. F sharp minor strumming in one, two, three. Here's a D shuffle in one and two and three and four. Great. Now, um, looking at the looking at the chorus here, I'm at the uh, first line there of that second page. Uh, he's going to F sharp minor strumming again. One, two, three. Now D to E in there, so it's a split bar. Uh, half a bar of D shuffle, half a bar of E shuffle would sound this way. One, to an E. Back to F sharp minor, strumming. One, two, three. Half a bar D, half a bar E, shuffle. E. Now here's his stops. He's gonna go F sharp minor to a D, to an E, and shuffle. Now, uh, sometimes he dresses it up. If I go F sharp minor, that's how it happens. And D, I'll go D7 in this case. Good, to an E to an A. And let me do that one more time. Here's the stops again. F sharp minor. Now, it's either D7, that guy there, or you could remove your ring finger, make it a D9, like that. I think it's sometimes it's one, and sometimes it's the other. So it's D7 minus the ring finger, gives you a D9. And then to an E, and then shuffle. Good stuff. Uh, let's try a full verse together and jump into a chorus as well. A lot coming at you there. So we're starting from an A shuffle. Here it comes. Three, four, uh, one, and two, and three. Here's an E. F sharp minor strum in here. One, two, three. D 
shuffle. One and two and three. Here's an A. Here's an E shuffle. One and two and three. F sharp minor strumming. And one, two, three. Here's a D shuffle, second page. Now here we go. F sharp minor. One, two, strumming. D to E split bar. E. F sharp minor strumming. One, two, three. D to E. One, E, F sharp minor, stops here, D7 or D9, to an E, A shuffle, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, there we go, that's most of it right there, that's a lot though, if shuffles were new to you, that was a lot, if the bar chord F sharp minor was new to you, it'll take a little time to get him going, so stop tape whenever you need to, go back and just get the components together, we'll put them, we'll stitch it all together, um, there is a spot there. Now, when you're trying to kill time on the A shuffle, especially after the intro, after that thing, uh, he sits on A. Before he starts singing, like, you'll hear this. One, and two, and three. And neat little uh, fill there, right here. All that is, I'm sitting on the A shuffle, as normal. One, and two, and three, and now on beat four, I'm gonna take my middle finger, put them there on the third fret of that A string. I'm gonna play that note and pull off. So that's the third fret, pulling off to the zero. And then, and I'll end that with, by playing the G string at the second fret, which is hiding in your bar there, if you're barring that guy correctly. So here's your A shuffle again. One, and two, and three, and here it comes. There you go again. So in real time, we get a one and two and three and four and ah one and two and three and four and ah yeah i wouldn't do it while while you're singing or anything like that maybe when you're when you're just uh, trying to kill time on the a chord in between verses or after the intro whatever the case may be uh let's do a whole verse and a chorus together very very slowly okay here it comes from the top three verse here we go a one and two and three here's an e one and two and three, here's an F sharp minor, you know, strumming, two, three, D shuffle, and one, and two, and three, here's an A coming, and one, and two, and three, here's an E, and one, and two, and three, F sharp minor strum here, and one, two, three, D, and one, and two, and three, here we go, F sharp minor strumming, two, D to E, split bar here, and one, E, F sharp minor, one, two, three, D to E, one, E, now stop on an F sharp minor, here's a D7, E, and A shuffle, one, and you might want to stick one of these guys in, because he's going to go around and start singing again right here, and he's back in for another verse. Uh, all we have to get now, there's a little lead line, uh, I'm going to look at about midway down the third page, there's a little lead line written there. Uh, when he's coming from the F sharp minor, one, two, three, he'll do this. Instead of going to the D to E, half uh, split bars, he'll go F sharp minor, one, two, three, and he'll play this lead idea. One, two, let's break that down slowly, here it comes. So F sharp minor strumming, one, two, three. Four. Now, abandon ship on the chord, open D string, and second fret of the D string, fourth fret of the D string, and then back to the second fret. So we've got a little hammer there too, you feeling that? Open, second fret, hammer to the fourth, back to the second. Now this little guy here, you have a hammer pull. I'll play again the D string at the second fret, and then play them again and hammer pull to the 4th fret, and I'm landing on the 4th fret of that A string. Let's do that again slowly. And then... It wasn't rhythmically correct, but we're just sketching here. So get open D from... I'll play it from the F sharp minor and give you context again. F sharp minor, one, two, three, four, and here it comes. Open D, 2nd fret, hammer to 4, back to the 2nd fret, and play that 2nd fret again. Hammer pull, fourth fret of the A string, and we're back to F sharp minor. Notice that guy sets, he's all set up again for F sharp minor. One, two, three. Here it comes again. We're going one. I'll go around a couple times. Here it comes again. One, two, three, four. 
last one. Two, three, here it comes. Good, and he comes out of that with the stops. That's how it happens. Uh, D7, do an E, life by the, and we're back to A. And a big round it goes. Good. So lots in there to chew on for sure. Again, we chase the basic components and then, hey, so he'd never play it the same way twice, I'm sure of that. And so he has little fills here and there that'll be incidental to each performance. Um, so don't let the tab bog you down. There's a whole lot of ink on that sheet, but it is it can be reduced to, just as we did, a shuffle. So like that, and a couple little noodles in there, like this guy. Uh, certainly the intro. That's nasty for sure, but dig in there and rest that right hand. When you're doing a lead thing, rest the right hand. Rest the right hand for the shuffle as well, and don't rest it for the for the strumming on the F sharp minor. Just get in there and get your right hand together for sure. Songs like that, they, that, that lead intro might take you a little while to get, without a doubt. Um, so just keep pecking away at it. Uh, thank you for coming back. Thanks for subscribing. Shane here from Guitar at Work, and uh, that was a lot of fun. We'll see you for the next video. Have fun with that one. Cheers. Bye-bye now.